Art can truly be amazing, and what is even more amazing is the time and dedication in doing it. That's definitely true. I used to draw in high school, and it took so much time. I would sit for hours in front of my little paper and my pencil. And, and the detail that out. people are able to get, yeah, it's shading amazing. and all that, so takes a lot of work. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jillian Nichol has been drawing all of her life, and now she's making a career out of it. Take a look. I had art in high school. I had a really great art teacher. Um, and I remember she had like a computer lab. We'd always go in and like play around with like Photoshop. And I got interested in digital art too. So I I like to do digital. I've recently kind of started doing more traditional like ink like you know right. Copic markers and uh, pencil and pen and ink. So I kind of switch. I work as a graphic designer at the University of Illinois and. Uh, not all of my job, but a percentage of my job, I do like scientific illustrations and then also I do illustrations for like flyers. And um, like right now we're having a Halloween party and they asked me to do a drawing for the backdrop, so I'll probably end up drawing like giant pumpkins. <laughs> Did I think my older brother was better at than me, to be honest, like when we were kids. I just kept going with it. I just really liked it, so I would just always doodle. Like, I remember being in like third grade and I was like the best. We did a book report on Charlotte's Web, and all the kids were like, We need to have her on our team because she's the best drawer. Our poster will look the best. <laughs> so I was always kind of like, I just always, I always love to draw. I draw a lot of animals. I draw people too. Like, I've been doing um, a series of like drawings of like people with like 60s hairstyles. So, like, fashion drawings are kind of fun. And honestly, like, if you can draw spheres and cones and cylinders, stuff like that, that, that's how you draw everything. But you have to get good at the basic stuff first before you can try to tackle anything big. I think that was, like, that's a huge thing. Kind of like when you draw, you have to, like, do a million sketches to get good enough at it that you're like, I can. And you just have to do it a lot. I think that's a big thing. If you want to get good at it, you just have to do it a lot.